this video we are going to talk about the architecture of the kafka we are going to see the, its components its internal functioning when we hear the word kafka in its ecosystem this is the picture that comes into our mind so this is the kafka in between where producer applications that can send the records they can send the messages and consumers listen there and process that even accordingly so this video target is about going deep into this kafka right so let's go ahead and see its all components and then dig deeper into that so these are the components of the kafka brokers zookeepers topics producer and consumers this is what forms the kafka ecosystem so when we say word kafka kafka is a software like it's it's a service in itself which is installed on a single machine where producer are sending the events and consumer are listening there when producer are sending the events where they are going they are into going into the broker they are going into the broker and inside there there has to be a logical grouping where producer can send the messages so let's take an example of a banking application where it needs to send the messages for notification log aggregation account creation or fraud detection they cannot send it to a single group that will be overwhelming for the consumer and producer itself and it will be very difficult to manage this one that is where concept of the topics comes into picture the topic is a logical grouping uh, of the messages that uh, that are sent to the kafka so producer needs to specify the broker its ip address and port and the second thing is the topic name inside topic itself how the messages are organized so let's say this is the topic and inside there there are different partitions of this topic created that is where individual messages are going so there are partitions here so when you send a single messages to a topic first a partition is decided after that it is appended there why am i saying appended because it is a immutable sequence of events you have not heard of you will not hear the word like edit event or delete event you will just send uh, hear the word that you are sending the events to a kafka ecosystem there is no delete or edit so whenever you are sending a message topic is decided then partition then it is uh, appended uh, in there so 0 1 2 3 4 so G the 0 1 2 3 4 there is a specific term that we call it offset that is also very important terminology inside kafka ecosystem so uh, but we have talked about other uh, other features of the broker like uh, high throughput distributed architecture fault tolerance how it comes into picture so it is not a single machine it is a multiple machine same kafka is installed on a multiple machines and that is what it forms a uh, makes at a kafka cluster not a kafka but a kafka cluster and uh, the the all of these broker 1 2 3 they coordinate with each other to replicate the uh, same configuration that is on the single system same is replicated to others as well one of these nodes works as a leader or a controller where any new event is coming any new record is coming they coordinate the co leader node coordinates with that one and the consumer listening so they the read request goes from the leader leader uh, leader broker only leader or we sometimes say the controller as well so you see a lot of coordination is needed among these brokers right so that is where the role of jo keeper comes into picture jo ki jo keeper takes care of like uh, configuration of all these things uh, a new broker is coming into picture existing broker is going down so all of these setup is taken care by the kafka cluster so when producer it's sending a messages you will see there is no need to mention a jo keeper there they just need to mention first broker the second thing they need to mention the topic rest of the things are taken care by the kafka itself so we can mention the partition also that is but that is about like we are going deep into this one and we want to customize that one but most of the cases it is not needed that is the use case basis okay so that's what the kafka ecosystem in a at a higher level it is so uh, you see how simple architecture is and how simple we can get started with this now the rest of the video is the like uh, uh, going through each of this topic on the point basis you can say they are just copied from the official documentation of the kafka and we are just going through that one so let's go ahead and see that first we are going to see about the brokers so the first thing we already have seen 
it's server that is responsible for storing and serving data it is a fundamental unit of the kafka's distributed architecture it is identified by a unique integer id and they communicate with each other to maintain the consistency of data across the cluster when a producer write a messages to a kafka topic the message is written to a partition of that kafka topic how the partition is decided that is the round robin strategy by default but we can have a custom logic a custom partitioning strategy as well so there is a very important term comes into picture when you send a messages to a kafka ecosystem are they ordered or not so the answer is yes and no as well yes when you send a message a partition topic is decided inside that a partition is decided so your messages are ordered within a partition but they are not ordered across topic so you are sending 10 messages there is no guarantee they are going to a same partition so for producer until unless they specify some custom logic there is no guarantee right so they need to uh, if they need ordering they need to make sure that our message goes to a same partition so that we'll see that that is where uh, custom partitioning strategy comes into picture when we are implementing it we'll see uh, great detail about this one as well so each partition in kafka has a leader broker that we talked about the leader broker maintains a set of in sync replicas so in sync means uh, whatever is available like is if i say there are three nodes that are in sync that means the information is consistent on all these three nodes it is important to maintain because uh, in most case if a leader node goes down there should be other node to take place of that so that is for uh, that is where like in sync replicas plays a very critical role in short we say it isr so there is a configuration about all this when we'll see the configuration of the brokers we'll see a lot detail about this one it also supports replication that copying the data across multiple brokers so that is what its awesome capability of the fault tolerance comes into picture each partition is also replicated we talked about the leader broker but inside topic a partition also because you there are like different nodes right so b1 b2 b3 the different nodes and same topic same partition is on all the nodes so whenever new message is coming into picture there should be a coordinator a leader partition so each broker has a, a leader partition also that's that is uh, that is what takes care of uh, uh, reading or writing the messages from there and it replicates the request to other partitions right in short we can say it is a critic playing a critical role in form of storing and serving data in the distributed and fault tolerant way these are the keywords that we all should remember it it that is what it uh, main makes it available and highly reliable in the kafka ecosystem the data that we sent there now coming uh, to the topics we already have covered things but just let's go through these pointers that are there it is a logical category we already have seen it is a, represents a logical stream of messages when each message is a key value pair when we will see the skeleton of the record events that we seen we sent to the topic we'll see that it is a key value pair it is partitions to enable the scalability and parallelism so if our topic has a, there is a topic there is a partitions p1 p2 and p3 so th this is the label of parallelism that it can go so consumer how many consumers can come here and listen it we can uh, we can uh, put three consumers there who can keep listening these messages so this is the label of parallelism that we can get out of this one that depends on the number of partitions that we are putting if there are more consumers they will just set idle there is no use of that one if there is only two consumers so two partitions will be uh, assigned to this uh, one of these consumers so the partitions play very important role inside a topic each message in the kafka is identified by its a topic name its unique partition number there is one more thing that is offset that if uh, you need to say that what is the address uh, what is the global unique identifier of a message topic name partition and then offset 
producer writes messages to the topics consumer read from topics obviously can write to the same topic and multiple consumers can read from the same topic then few points about the partitions also it is a unit of parallelism and scalability for a topic topic can have one or more partitions which are stored on the separate kafka brokers when a producer sends a messages to a topic kafka assign messages to a separate partition based on the partitioning strategies we talked about by default it is robin round robin but we can have our custom partitioning logic as well each partition ordered immutable sequence of messages identified by a integer offset offset for each message within a partition is unique and consumers can specify which offset they want to start reading so there is a lot of control uh, that goes by this uh, to the consumer uh, because of this offset and partition setup that we have so this partition and offset plays a critical role when we have to replay the events or we need to start from a particular point offset also we talked already talked about it is a unique identifier and it starts from zero so when uh, the events are coming it starts from zero and keeps incrementing by one more about offset in just the diagram let's say we have a topic and there are like uh, three partitions there so if a single message is coming first it is going into the zero index uh, first zero one two three and then there, there will be four five six there is no backtrack or something they just keep appending the data forward in a single partition partition two you can see ordering is maintained within a partition but not across topics so this is very important this is a very important question for the interview as well that you should remember why offset is important now you can see why it is the important ordering ordered messages processing and replayability is the two capabilities that they, and consumer control so they give lots of flexibility to the consumer that how they can listen to the messages from the kafka ecosystem itself so that's all about this video we have a covered broker topic partition and offset next video let's see about the producer and consumer and the jukeeper part so see you in that one so thank you thank you for your time see you in the next one bye